Oh, hello everybody. I am getting ready to stream again, of course. And I'm just going to do a quick makeup look, quick, quick thing with that, and uh, go from there. So, I've got a little bit of acne going on. I have been not eating quite so good and not sleeping quite so good, so I did have a breakout, which kind of sucks. Um, so I'm going to use my Ivory 140N. I am just about ready to move up to like 160 or something a little bit darker, um, but I'm not there quite yet because I haven't spent enough time in the sun yet. Um, summer sports have just started, so I haven't had a chance to really get out there and play yet, which is what's going to darken me up. So, for now, every 140N. Um, don't be afraid, I guess, I don't know if I've said this before, but don't be afraid to buy multiple shades of... Um, foundation by a winter shade and by a summer shade because you can use that to contour so during the summer you know like obviously you can use a darker shade for you know right here and here and you know wherever else you're interested in contouring you can use a lighter shade as a highlighter so it doesn't have to fit you year round you want different shades for different times of year because you don't want to be a ghost face when you're all tan everywhere else during the summer and you don't want to be a dark face when you're all light everywhere else during the winter right so make sure that you're changing that up. I'm sorry for the background noise, by the way. We're making some bread right now, so it's a little bit noisy, but I'm figuring out well, who cares. Okay, so after that, I'm gonna put on some liquid eyeliner. And I am going to do all the way across my top lid. And slowly lifting up as I get towards the back until I come way off my lid to do a tail. Again, I am lifting the corner of my eye since my eyes are turned down, which um, just by itself gives me kind of a nice eye look, but when you put eyeliner and follow that line, it makes me look really dumpy. You do not want to do that. I'll do a video sometimes showing you the difference, but for today, let's just do it right, shall we? All the way across, and slowly lifting off of my eye line until I'm way off of it, like that. The side is always harder. So, I'm giving myself a little grease on that. And just a little bit under, right here. Just like that. Then you got yourself a nice simple cat eye look and already my eyes look bigger, which is good. All right, then going to the return of the liquid eyeshadow today. I'm doing meteor shower, I believe. Just kidding, I'm doing light beam. Meteor shower is silver. This is gold. Light beam. Alright. Put that all over the place. Give me a nice highlight. I'm actually going to put it under my eye as well. Don't worry, I'll brush that out. It won't be quite so stark. And all over here. Yep. I'm not going all the way up because I'm going to use my smudge brush in a second here to brush it out. If I can find it, I thought I had it out. There it is. Smidge brush, or blending brush, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to brush out this front corner here because I want that to be kind of stark like that, but I'm going to brush it out everywhere else. All over my eye area. Just to... Make it not quite so obvious where the line starts and where the line stops. Like so. And that will lighten up under my eye area a little bit. I didn't get a lot of sleep this last week. Um, we had screaming children staying at the house. So uh, they, they didn't stop screaming when nighttime hit. So um, that's fine because I love them. But uh, it definitely did hit my... Hit my uh, face just a little bit. I look like five years older. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, after that I'm gonna take my all over eye brush. I'm gonna hit myself with another dose of gold here, which is a little bit darker gold, and a powdery one at that. Put that all over my eye using my all over eye brush. Ironic, I know. Then my edge brush, and I'm just gonna do my chocolate, my mocha espresso here. And that's just going to give me a little bit of a smoky eye look. Just putting it on the corner of my eye right above my eyeliner. And a little bit on the back edge of my eyelid. Like so. Okay. 
That's that. Nice and easy. Nice and simple, right? Put on a little bit of brow liner. My eyebrows are pretty filled out, so I'm not going to worry too much about them. I'm just going to fill in this area just a little bit. Like that. Okay. And do it on the other side. And then, since I can tend to get a little too dark here, let me just draw too low. There we go. Since I can tend to get a little too dark here, you see like, now they're like really dark. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit with a tint. And I'm actually going to use blonde tint. Usually I would use light or not. I'm going to use blonde tint just because it's really dark. And I don't want them to be quite that dark. So rub that in, smudge this just a little bit. Let that lighten up just a little bit. Then I'm gonna let that dry, see how it looks in a couple of minutes. If I like it, I'll leave it. If I don't, then I won't. But I need to give it a little time to dry. Put on my mascara in the meantime, my big boy lash intensity for big boys and girls who are looking to make a bang. Yes, make a bang, make a bang, make a boom. Boom shakalaka. And there you go. Amazing. Okay, other side. Ooh, pro tip for mascara. If you don't want the clumps, instead of putting it straight down and doing this motion, do a twisty motion instead. Pro tip. It didn't come from me, so you know it's a pro. Okay. And then... Check out my eyebrows here. It's hard to see in this mirror. Yep, those are fine. I can live with that. It's a little bit lighter in the actual scene than in the camera, so that helps. <laughs> then I'm just going to do something really light on my lips just to make them pop a little bit for my video because then it's easier for my lips to be red. So, nude, lipstick, and this is True Dimensions, so it's just a little bit heavier. And that'll make my lips smooth out a little bit. And then over the top of it, I'm going to put on some Posh Pink Sheer Lipstick, which is just going to give it a pink shade. And that's that. I'm not going to do anything crazy with my hair because I'm going to be wearing headphones anyways, so it's fine the way it is because I just need it to look like I have hair. I'm going to have a huge headset on. So, anyhow. That's that. If you like this video, if it was helpful to, help, helpful to you, <laughs> go ahead and uh, subscribe. Go ahead and comment. Go ahead and like it. Do whatever it is you're going to do. Hey, if you want to share it, that should be nice. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.